In California, you're supposed to stop for a pedestrian at a crosswalk. And in a recent study, some 90% of drivers did, except for those driving luxury cars, like this BMW. They were almost as likely to run the intersection as wait for the person to cross the street. Drivers of those BMWs, those Porsches, those Mercedes, were anywhere from three to four times more likely to break the law than drivers of less expensive, low-status cars. In a country more and more polarized by inequality, UCAL Berkeley's Paul Piff led a series of startling studies showing an apparent link between wealth and, well, unseemly behavior. Um, oh, by the way, there's candy there. It's actually for um, children for another study, but you know, you're welcome to take a few pieces if you want to. Okay. Thank you. That's the script an experimenter recited to every subject. And the results? Wealthier participants took two times as much candy from children as did poor participants. Another experiment tested honesty in reporting dice scores when cash was on the line. People all the way at the top who made $150,000, $200,000 a year were actually cheating four times as much as someone all the way at the bottom who made under $15,000 a year just to win credits for a $50 cash prize. So, experimental evidence that rich people are more likely to break the law while driving, help themselves to candy meant for children, cheat in a game of chance, also to lie during negotiations, and endorse unethical behavior, including stealing at work. The academic paper that resulted made headlines everywhere. The Wall Street Journal article leading with the question, ready the pitchforks? It is very clear that this study of social class touched a nerve. Psychology professor Dacker Keltner is Paul Piff's boss and co-author. We publish these studies in relatively obscure scientific journals and literally the next day, we're getting hundreds of emails from around the world. It's been a lot quite hostile. I've gotten uh, a lot of vitriol and hate mail from people calling me out for junk science and having a liberal agenda. Hey, but wait, didn't those who complained have a point? That the research was done at a famously, some might say infamously, liberal university. Hey, they're in Berkeley. What other results did you expect them to get? I regularly hear the Berkeley idiot scientist who's finding what they expect to find. Let me tell you, we did not expect to find this. Our findings apply to both liberals and conservatives. It doesn't matter who you are. If you're wealthy, you're more likely to show these patterns of results. Results consistent across 30 studies he's run on thousands of people all over the United States.